and being a leader between how much load you take on scoring. Was he the most talented player on this team last year? Yeah, absolutely. Was he ready to be a leader? No, probably not. There was no one on this team ready to be a leader. I think this year, naming this kid first team all Big Ten kind of sends a message. It's, hey, this Manny Harris can play. This Manny Harris is a leader. He's the face of the Michigan basketball team. Okay. Other teams are going to be gunning in on Manny Harris, which means guys like Deshaun Sims, you know, guys like Kelvin Grady are going to have to step up. And uh, they now have a leader to rally around. You know, it's, it's not just, you know, five young faces on the Michigan basketball team. It's Manny Harris's team, and he's, he's going to be the one that has to rally the troops. We know he's a great talent. We know he can score. We know he's going to be an NBA player in a couple years. The thing is this, can he make his teammates better? That's something, you know I mean? Sure, you know, he does a well, lot. That's what makes a leader. Let's get some more assists. Let's get some rebounds. The team can't even grab a rebound last year. Do those things, and maybe... You know, mm -hmm. He can average 40 a game. It doesn't matter if the team doesn't do the basic things like play defense and rebound, something Absolutely. they didn't do. Absolutely. And but so we'll see. This I headline mean, makes no news in my book uh, because it's not going to matter. I think it will. But okay. Agree well, to disagree. We'll talk there. in a couple we're months. Gonna, we're going to shift gears from the hardwood to the ice here, Chris. Michigan hockey absolutely shellacked 7 2 at the hands yeah. of the BU Terriers, a team that they beat 6 2 last year here at Yost Ice Arena. Uh, what's next for this team? I mean, where well, do they go from here? Yeah, it's, we're lucky it's early, okay? I mean, it was a number seven ranked Boston team that they played, and they were number five. Michigan's going to grow from this, and I think we saw, Danny, you know, that lack of defense, uh, you know, was there. Mark Matier, they definitely miss him. He might be gone for the most of the year, and then Stephen Camper also going to be gone for the majority of the season. That goaltending was horrible. I mean, Billy Sauer gives up four goals. Brian Hogan gives up another three when he comes in there in the third. But, I mean, they give up five power play goals yep. and only nine attempts, and, and then they only go two for 12 themselves. You know, they just got to tweak some things right now, especially on the defensive side. Yeah, and, and you know, you were to see Red Berenson reacting to this, making a few line changes, putting Travis Turnbull on the top line and dropping Palushai down. Um, so, you know, there's a little bit of a reactionary process going on there. Obviously, the defense, of course, is a little bit limited. I think the biggest problem is, like you mentioned, goaltending. Pick somebody and just ride with it. Yeah. I mean, a goaltending split's not going to build anyone's confidence. Yeah. You know, it doesn't help Billy Sauer to have a stud game on the road against Northern Michigan and then get benched the next day and bench the following game, and then after, you know, a week and change, sitting on the bench, come back to face it's all right. a top BU team. They got time. It's yeah, October. Pick a goalie. It's October. Pick a goalie. They'll get Chris, to it. this isn't going to work. They'll get to it. They it's got not, the Buckeyes coming in. They it's got not going to work. They got, yeah, well, refocus. CCHA. Yeah, there it's you go. Play some hockey. Let's I do don't it. think it'll work. Chris, Last of the hot yeah, topics. go for it. Yeah, we got uh, baseball coming, and we're going to talk about it in the main event here in a couple of minutes, but how about Philadelphia? They're in the World Series. They're up three games to one on the verge of winning it. Like if it weren't for a little bit of rain, but you know, does any city deserve a t title more than Philadelphia? I mean, I'm sure you can. When's make the last it. title they won? 25. No, years ago. 2008. The Philadelphia Soul won the Arena Bowl. What? Come on, that's not even football? football. Oh, that's give me a break. Give football. me a break. At least they have a title. 1983. Mochi, bon Moses Malone, Dr. J. That was a team. The Bon Jovi's, man. Come on. 19, the Look, you got the Sixers in '83. You got the Flyers in '75. You got the Phillies in '80. Come on. Eagles in '60, baby. Remember that one? Wasn't technically the <laughs> Super Bowl. It was a championship. <laughs> Come on. Who cares? <laughs> Philly, you know, Seattle. Milwaukee, Cleveland, I'm sure they want titles. We're talking big cities here. I think Philadelphia is the only one, all right? Find me, find me someone. Who, Seattle's a big city. Seattle. Seattle they, get their, they get their basketball team taken Nobody away from Nobody cares under about them. Seattle. They, they don't have a basketball team. Nobody, nobody they cares should. about anything. Come on. And, that's and, arguable. That's arguable. But my thing with Philadelphia, look at everything they've been who through. Who cares? No, look what they've been through. I mean, the, the problems with, remember the McNabb and T.O. thing that happened a few years ago? They made three straight Fans had to suffer that. Fans thing, had to man. suffer through Just the win. antics of Allen Iverson when he was there. Did you watch 1990s Philadelphia 76er basketball, Danny? I did. The most games they ever won was 49. And yeah, were, but then they, they, they got to an NBA. The whole 2001, they got to an NBA Finals. So, you know, whatever. And they've been there. You've had Eric Lindros? They had to endure the Eric Lindros tragedy, basically. Woe is me. I'm a New York Islanders fan and New York Jets fan. We're talking about Knicks Philadelphia fan. here, Danny. Give me a break. I've had just the as much heartache. People have struggling. I'm 20, I feel for these people. Chris, I'm 22 years old and I'm a fan of all the wrong New York teams. And believe me, it hasn't been exactly fun being a That's fan your of own it. fault. It's not my own That's fault. That's your own upbringing, your own fault, it's my, everything. My <laughs> father's fault for taking me to the cheaper tickets when I was six and seven years old instead of taking me to Ranger games and Yankee games and Giants games. I got stuck with the Islanders the and the Jets and the Mets and it's a disaster. I just like Philly. <laughs> Whatever. One game left. That's all hey, we got to win. I'm pulling for the Rays. I'll tell you that much. Who cares about Florida? I'm not, and I'm from Florida. Let's take it to break, huh? I don't know, man. All <laughs> right, we're going to take it to a quick break. When we come back, it's time for our main event, breaking down the World Series with Colleen Flannery. We will be right back.